As we all know, Drake is the most successful hip hop artist we have ever seen. The nigga that got body by Pusha T? He is the biggest superstar in the rap community. Every single year of the past decade had a Drake hit. Rather, if he dropped an album or is featured on the hottest songs. Cause my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. If you broke it off, then you Drake has been on top of the rap game for almost two decades now. But is this time coming to an end? In a recent conversation with Lil Yachty that has been publicly uploaded by Future Move, Drake teases a graceful exit. I feel like I'm kind of introducing the concept in my mind of a of a graceful exit. Like, mm. But why would he retire now? I mean, for one, at this point in Drake's career, he has literally nothing to prove. Bro proved to us that he can rap with the greatest, he can make hit songs, bring artists to stardom. He even proved to us that he can step out of his lane and still prosper. He has managed to create dance music, R&B, Afro beats, pop music, etc. And that's not even mentioning the different subgenres of hip hop he has pivoted in, such as trap, UK drill. He has done it all. Like, let's be real. With that being said, Drake is one of the most adaptive artists of all time. Like, I see him as the LeBron of hip hop. LeBron can be on any team and elevate that team. Drake isn't the most gifted rapper when it comes to rapping ability. Same as LeBron when it comes to shooting. He's not the best shooter or even close to being. He still can hang as the best basketball player as Drake can hang as the best hip hop artist. Although I don't think Drake is the best rapper when it comes to rapping ability or even close to it, he definitely can hang with the best rappers don't get it twisted what is it that drake does that help maintain his longevity the fame good music and mainstream appeal is something that plenty of artists have so what makes drake longevity so special none of these things is what causes it funny thing about it it's because he continues to act as a student of the game no matter the position he's in he can be on top of the world in the hip-hop industry and still be a student of the game a lot of creators focus on how to stand out and be innovative while drake found ways to success by doing the exact opposite when it comes to the new sound and music drake always does his research it's clear as day that drake is always on top of new trending sounds in the rap community and he always implement them in his own music for example on xxx tentacion was hot may he rest in peace he made kmt he secured a cardi feature when fans were looking for cardi the most because cardi was not dropping anything at all all cardi music was getting leaked and all this other stuff from fans really wanting his music but drake came in clutch and actually put him on a track even though that verse wasn't critiqued highly or anything like that but hey man even when yeet got hot he made a song with benny x who was a producer that works very well with yeet now he even hitting out that he'll be collabing with yeet on a track same goes with thames and honestly i can do this all day like drake always knows what the people want to hear and he always capitalized from his knowledge and skill of adaption he is also known for pushing artists out more not putting them on but boosting their commercial success such as me goes Lil Baby. Since he proved that he has nothing left to prove, I feel like that's a good reason to bring retirement to the conversation. Now, to speak on current events, him and Lil Yachty had a brief conversation of his exit in the rap game. Drake saying this and dropping the album title, For All The Dog. To me personally, For All The Dog sound like a conclusion to me. After you accomplish everything Drake accomplished, you're not really creating for anything else no more. But let me do this for my dogs. That's the type of vibe I got from the album title. Side note, whoever started that Fat D abbreviation on Twitter needs to get locked up immediately, bro. Like, bro, let me give y'all some examples real quick. Phone break. When is Drake gonna drop his Fat D so we can all get a taste? That's wild, bro. That is, that is insane. They really said Drake was washed. Yeah, Fat D is gonna bang. That's crazy. I'm so glad Drake got SZA on his fat D. She absolutely ate him up on this one. Can't wait for the full thing to come. Whoa. Yo, that's a bar though. Low key. Let me cook though. Cause like, this could be like a triple entendre. Oh my. Nigga, that's bars, bro. Drake and Adonis arrive at the 2023 VMAs. Okay, that's a good tweet. The man who made Fat D and the man he made with his Fat D. Bro, why why did it have to go there, bro? Why did it have to go there? Bro, the tweet was doing so good before you said that. See, this shit could be the reason the nigga retiring. Like, but anyways, you got many things coming from this album rollout. Like Halle Berry feeling disrespected for Drake using a picture of her getting slimed on Nickelodeon for his new track with SZA titled Slime You Out. The huge It's All A Blur tour where he's been going crazy with the set list. He's been performing songs from back all the way back then till now and every era is in there a little bit. Also, you got Yachty saying he heard the album and, and he mentions it features some of Drake's best writing. Some of the best Drake verses that I ever heard on this album and as we all know it's been speculated that he was going to drop on september 22nd due to his hair pieces but he postponed it to october 6th all of this is building major hype in this project but little 
will this project be his last? That's the question we trying to figure out, you feel me? Now, going back to the tour, tour has really been giving me I'm about to retire type vibes, you feel me? You see him talking to his younger self, uh, sitting down. I, honestly, I haven't been to the tour. I wish I had tickets, but bro was taxing, bro. Like, damn. His tickets was costing more than Rolling Loud's was. And Rolling Loud got like 100 artists up there, bro. Anyways, but yeah, if he taking you all the way back to his catalog, reminiscing about his past times with his younger self and stuff, and then he got a title called It's All a Blur. It just giving me... Damn, a nigga about to retire, dog. I'm just trying, not trying to say it. But look, I'm just a nigga on YouTube talking about what I visualize. Don't, don't trust my word, but you might as well subscribe, though. Do I think Drake is officially retiring? No. But I do believe that constantly receiving new Drake music will come to a conclusion soon. I don't think he'll be out the game completely and we will never hear Drake on music again. I think he'll slow down. He has consistently gave us a project every year for the past eight years, going on nine with For All The Dogs. Since he is very adaptive, Drake's ability to work with other artists will always be showcased. I feel like he'll always be open to making more music with different people and expanding his horizons and music capital. In this situation, you'll see him on features, but new solo music wouldn't be too accessible. Take Jay-Z for example. Jay-Z last album was in 2017 with 444, but you see Jay-Z features on Drake, CLB, and DJ Khaled, God Did, but he drops his own projects on his own timing. Same goes to most deaf members of Wu-Tang, Lil Wayne. Although Lil Wayne do drop still consistently, bro, back in his prom, bro, he would drop and drop and drop it, bro. The only difference is I don't think Drake will lose his hype. The Legends I mentioned has been very established in the game and has high respect for the rap community, but they are out of the mainstream. I'm not expecting them to pull numbers like they was in their prom. But with Drake, I know Drake for being that guy, bro. So it's kind of hard imagining him not being there. Like at the top of mainstream. Per. Drake is becoming older and older and older. It's gonna become a time where he's just not giving out music no more. But how close are we to that time? I don't know. And will this be his last album? Let me know in the comment section down below, man. I feel like he's contemplating about retiring. But is he really gonna go through it? I don't know. I do feel like he's hinting it out to us. All the homies out there, man, I appreciate you. Making sure you have a wonderful and blessed day. Make sure you receive a lot of blessings, money, and positivity for the day tomorrow and forever. Spike Lee tuning out. Wavy is boss in the game. Let's get it.